Hey everyone, welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. Now in today's video, we're going to be going over the three things that we go over on the channel each and every single day. And those three things include where you guys can find Madame Nazar. We're going to go over all the different collection sets and their current cycles. And then last but not least, we're going to go over all of the daily challenges and maybe not in that specific order. But if you guys are enjoying these videos and want to continue seeing these videos, make sure that you guys go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. Also, make sure that you guys go ahead and share it with your all your friends and everywhere that you possibly can because if it helped you guys out it could probably help out a few other people as well we can destroy that youtube algorithm by leaving a like and a comment it can be comment can be pretty much anything that you guys want it to be a letter a number a hey a hi pretty much anything ask us a question and that's how we can get more people to be helped here in red dead online but anyway let's go ahead and get started with the collection sets and their current cycles we're going to start with the fossils which will be a part of cycle number six we have the lost jewelry at cycle number five we have the arrowheads at cycle number two family heirlooms at cycle number two and then the coins at cycle number two as well now the next four sets that i'm about to go over you don't even need to be a collector at all in order to collect them but you do need to be a collector in order to sell them so definitely get that collector bag as soon as you possibly can because ultimately it's going to help you guys make a lot more money here in red dead online as it is the best money making method in my opinion as of right now even though it was nerfed here in red dead online so definitely take advantage of it so we got american wildflowers you can collect three sets every single day it's going to be a part of cycle number six we have the tarot cards at cycle number one the antique alcohol bottles at cycle number six and then the bird eggs at cycle number six as well Anyway, let's go ahead and move on to the next thing. We're going to be going on to the daily challenges. So we're going to quickly go over the list mode, and then we're going to follow that up with extensive details. So let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, so starting with the daily general challenges, we got five animals stowed on horseback, five feathers sold, five herbs eaten, five perch caught. That rock kind of threw me off there. Uh, we got three player kills with a pistol in showdown, one Sadie Adler uh, mission completed. Um... Sadie Adler. Uh, we got three sockeye salmon caught. We've got bounty hunter missions. We've got the two bounties completed within the West Elizabeth posters. Three bounty targets lassoed from horseback. Three eagle eye used to track a bounty target. The trader roll. Three deadly, deadly predator carcasses or skins. We got six large animal carcasses donated to crypts. And then ten small animal carcasses donated to crypts. The collector roll. We have three arrowheads found. Three collectibles found with a shovel. Then we have three collector maps used. Moonshine roll, two hundred dollars money made with selling moonshine. One moonshine sold with at least five minutes left, and then two moonshine story missions completed. And then the naturalist roll, we got five animal samples sold to Harriet. Don't kill any animal for twenty-four game hours, and then two legendary animals found using pheromones. All right, so let's go ahead and break these down so you guys can hopefully make a little bit more money here in Red Dead Online. So let's go ahead and uh, do that right now. So we got five animals stowed on horseback. Uh, pretty much stow any animal on the horseback and you should be just fine. Whenever you guys are hunting, just go ahead and stow it. And uh, then go and kill something else, stow that. And if you're not going to sell it to the butcher, then just put it on and then take it off and then replace it with something else. Pretty easy peasy. Otherwise, if you're going to be donating it, just donate it to the camp and then put some more stuff on. Pretty easy peasy. Five feathers sold. It can be whatever five feathers you want. It can be flight feathers, goose feathers, anything. If it flies, it dies. Go ahead and sell those to any of the butchers that butchers that are scattered around the world. Uh, we got five uh, herbs sold. Um, so you're going to want to visit the doctors. There's pretty much only two different spots that you guys can go to for this. You got the doctor in Valentine or in Saint Denis. You can sell whatever herbs that you guys would like. Uh, five perch caught. And I see something about okay salmon too okay so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys i guess for the location that i would use for um i mean you can't you can get both of them in this area just so that you are aware so you can catch perch on this side of lake owangila and then you can actually get um salmon over down in this area um you might be able to get some perch down here it's not as common as down here but they can find them both at lake owangila just so you know and then the other place that you can get both of them at the exact same time is actually going to be up at the winyard straight area up here by granite pass making the fast travel destination of choice at the indian reservation so sockeye salmon is going to be the best to be able to be caught with like the special lake lure or the special river lure depending on where you guys are actually fishing at the salmon are attracted to both of those 
So, and the nice thing about it is you're only going to catch the larger fish anyway, but it will allow you guys to not, if you do break the, um, the, the lure when you guys are trying to catch the fish, it, you don't actually lose it, which is quite nice if you guys use the special lures. Now, if you're just using the like lake lure, you can break and then you will have to repurchase it. So I recommend that if you can get it, that you get the special one right off the bat. And then as far as the perch go, they are, they do prefer bread bait. And again, you can get them both at the Winter Strait and also at Lake Owangila for the ease of use and ease of catching those fish. Uh, the next one on the list is to get three player kills with a pistol in Showdown. So any pistol will work. You can use the Volcanic, you can use the Mauser, semi-automatic, whatever. If it's a pistol, it'll work just fine. And then go ahead and get those kills any way that you possibly can. And then we have Sadie Adler mission completed. Uh, if you guys are newer to Red Dead, you might not know where she's at, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. She's going to be way up north up here. This is where you guys want to be able to go to participate in her missions. And then there is a fast travel destination right here in Coulter. And you can make your way northeast up to her current location, which is up there. All right, I think that's everything for the daily general challenges. So let's go ahead and move on to the daily roll challenges, starting with the bounty hunter roll. We have two bounties brought in from West Elizabeth posters. So you're looking at Wallace Station, Blackwater, and also Strawberry. Strawberry would be your fast tra travel destination if you guys are going to go up to Lake Owangila. And then we got three bounty targets lassoed from horseback. So you guys are going to want to make sure that you guys stay on horseback and then just make sure that you guys go ahead and lasso them. And then you have three eagle eyes. Uh, eagle Eye used to track a bounty target. The best way to do this is one of two ways. If you guys don't get the opportunity to search within a yellow circle, which is by far the easiest one, but it's not controlled, then you just need to inspect every clue that you find and then track the bounty target after that. But if you don't get that option, you can actually let the bounty target kind of run away from you and then you can track them and then you can tackle them, hog tie them, release them, and let them run away from you guys and can keep doing that. Or you can just track three separate bounties it's completely up to you that you'd want to do anyway uh, either way will work just fine moving on to the trader roll we got three donated deadly predator carcasses or skins so you're looking at uh you can donate the whole carcass if you want to so that would be like wolves cougars panthers things like that but bears and alligators you can actually just donate the skins which is quite nice so i actually like to set my camp up in the blue water marsh area or the bayou area actually just go ahead and donate the skins of any of the alligators that I can find down there because alligators are in abundance everywhere down in that location. We have six large animal carcasses donated to Crypt, so this does need to be the full carcass. So if you guys are going to go after the, the deadly predators and you get the full carcass, so again, the wolves, cougars, panthers, things like that, then that would actually count towards a large animal carcass, and that's going to be anything on the back of the horse. So you could also do like deer, pronghorns, things like that. Ten small animal carcasses donated to Crypt's. Gonna be anything that you put inside your satchel when you kill it. It's gonna be bats, rats, toads, bullfrogs, western chipmunks, squirrels, toads, uh, things like that, uh, crows, and any other really small bird will count towards that. Blue water marsh area is a very, very good spot. You can find lots of toads, uh, you can find a lot of the bullfrogs, you can find a lot of bats at night, and you can even find a lot of the small birds as well. In the New Hanover area, which is where I'm currently located, just outside of Emerald Station, you can find a lot of the small animals as well, specifically the, the birds. But the top two, at least you can do together, or at least some I get them done together, because you only have to donate the three deadly predator, predator carcasses or skins and then focus on the other things. But however you guys want to do that combination is completely up to you. Moving on to the collector roll, we got three arrowheads found. Arrowheads, again, are going to be a part of cycle number two. We have three collectibles found with a shovel. Pretty much every arrowhead that you go after anyway is going to be using the shovel. So that's a guarantee, three of them. So I would focus on the arrows in order to get the to get the collectibles with the shovel. So let's definitely be done together. And then we have three collector maps used. You can use the collector map for the arrowheads, which would make it really easy to get at least a start on all of these. And then use whatever two collector maps that you guys would like after that. Moving on to the Moonshiner roll. We have $200 money made from Moonshine sold. That's where I heard something around me. Um, this is going to be like selling any of the strong Moonshine. So that's almost going to be everything that's over. And actually, I just got my last ingredient. I finally found the Prairie Poppy recipe. And it was kind of like a free roam event that just kind of happened. I found two Moonshiners. I didn't realize what it was until the very end. And then, of course, I didn't record it. Um, but I literally just got it just a couple days ago. 
I was kind of surprised because I know other people probably had it for a while. But now you have a couple different options because that would be another one that you could add to it. But anything that you make is within the start of that strong um, category will allow you to make more than $200 as long as you don't break any of the bottles upon delivery. Then we have one moonshine sold with at least five minutes left. So basically doing a moonshine sell as fast as you possibly can. And then we have two moonshine story missions completed. To, uh, you can either do these directly through Maggie or you can actually, if you've already played them, go through the progress menu and then restart them that way. Either way will work just fine. The naturalist roll, we got five animal samples sold to Harriet. It could be whatever five, it doesn't matter. Whatever you have more than enough to go ahead and sell. Preferably the farmland animals because they are the easiest to get. And if you don't have enough to go ahead and sell, those are by far the easiest, in my opinion, because you can get a whole bunch of them in Valentine and Animal Station area. Then don't kill any animal for 24 game hours. So as long as you're just going after the samples, then you don't have to worry about it because you're not technically killing the animal. And if you're going to go hunting after that, I would either do the hunting before or after that, and then just get that one out of the way. And then we got two legendary animals found using pheromones. The best way to do this is actually going and doing the missions directly through Harriet because you're going to get into your own private mission to find the legendary animals that you guys are looking for. But that is everything done, gone over, and covered. We went over Mad Mazar's location. Nope, we did not go over Mad Mazar's location yet. Uh, Mad Mazar will actually be down here at Montica Falls for today, making um, McFarland's Ranch your fast travel destination of choice. So now you guys know exactly where you can find Adam Nazar for today. All right. If you guys have any questions regarding anything that we went over in today's episode, by all means, leave a comment down below because I'd love to be able to help you guys out if I possibly can. If you guys did enjoy, you know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys, stay gaming.